politics that determines how you live, you know. Mary Perry Stone's social protest art created during the 1960s and 70s was her reaction to both America's civil rights struggles and the Vietnam War. During this time, Mary, an accomplished artist and my mother, lived on a former dairy ranch in Lucas Valley, California. Later, she said, I wish I had spent more time painting the beauty of the ranch, but how could I with all the injustice and a war which went on and on? In February of 1960, four black students began a nonviolent sit-in at a Woolworths whites-only lunch counter. I remember Mary painting her oil called Liberty. Viewing the two heads, one notices the black figure's chain neck is slashed. The white figure, with its cross piercing both a dollar bill and the American flag, represents the Ku Klux Klan and white supremacists. In September of 1963, Ku Klux Klan members dynamited the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama, killing four girls, injuring 20 others. Mary responded with the painting, Alabama Lynching, which she also called For Alabama. On the left side of the mural are two white figures along with the word hate. The figure with blonde hair holds both a cross and the rope of the lynched black figure. The right side represents love. My mother raised a Catholic, spoke of her use of the cross in her paintings to represent not only death, but the hypocrisy of the so-called Christians attending church on Sunday and yet being a party to murder and lynchings. Mary called the 1960s mural Down Through the Ages Through Roses and Flame her tribute to black women and what they had endured. During the same time, Mary painted on burlap Child with a Peacock and The Family. While I never asked Mary specifically when her hatred of racism began, I know as a young art student in the late 1920s in New York City, she was appalled by the racism her roommate, the black dance pioneer, Edna Guy, endured. The 1964 painting, On the Farm, she said, expressed her hope that someday all races could live together in harmony. At the same time the civil rights struggles were occurring, the Vietnam War also galvanized Mary. As the U.S. involvement in Vietnam increased, Mary did both anti-war paintings and murals. The satiric mural Columbia, Gem of the Ocean, is one of my favorites. Mary took the subject of a popular American patriotic song with its common portrayal of Columbia draped in flag bunting and turned it into an indictment against what she called American imperialism. Her Columbia has speared a dark figure and nearby the sea has turned bloody. Meanwhile, Uncle Sam, with his patriotic CIA hat, holds up a speared, decapitated head. Mary wanted to debunk the idea war was glorious with her painting, Glory. She emphasized in many paintings the war's impact on innocent civilians, including women and children. Died a Child and Horror of War focused on the deaths of children. 
The painting, 1918 Gun Sold to the Enemy, was a call against war profiteering. Along with making references to World War I and World War II war profiteers, she noted in 1965 the same war profiteering was occurring. She strongly felt without war profits, wars would stop. While President Johnson was in office, 1963 through 1969, Mary painted the man from Washington. The president is represented as an empty-headed figure with horns and dressed in brown pants and brown boots, riding what Mary referred to as a poor bull. One of the president's green hands with red nails clutches both a bar of gold and the wrist of the blonde female figure. The blonde woman, adorned with green knee highs and red high heel shoes, holds a missile. One of her legs is draped around his shoulder and there's a swastika on her shoe. The president's other green-colored hand holds a dollar bill and a cross. Lashed to the cross with a rope is a small head. These are just a few of the paintings Mary did during the 1960s and 70s. The social and political injustices of the times compelled my mother throughout her life to address them in her art. Through her paintings, she expressed her desire for a more humane and caring world for all. Thank you.